New tonight, a popular Richmond restaurant is requiring proof of vaccination before being allowed to dine in. The announcement coming just days before their big New Year's Eve event. 8 News reporter Ben Dennis has more on this sudden change. And Ben, I know that you had a chance to talk to the uh, restaurant manager tonight. What did he have to say? That's right, Eric. Well, the kitchen right now is closed at the tobacco company restaurant, but the doors will reopen tomorrow night at 4. With it comes a new dinner requirement. No shoes, no shirt, no vaccine, no service. Number one, it's the safety. <laughs> David Campbell has been working at the tobacco company for decades. Right. Now he's manager and chief enforcer of a new vaccine requirement to dine in. Now the restaurant isn't just relying on the honor system. Once you enter, masked up, you're going to have to come to the welcome desk, and this is where you have to show proof of vaccination, either from a photo you've taken of your vaccine card or the physical representation. The tobacco company is not the first in the city to impose vaccine or mask requirements. Back in August, a local lifestyle company operating several restaurants told customers to show vaccine proof, a recent negative test, or they'd have to mask up. Then the Delta variant was surging. Now it's Omicron. Back at the tobacco company. Are there any plans right now to require a booster shot? Uh, I don't, yeah, we're going to just go with the flow. But the flow is showing vaccinated people are even testing positive. STATE DATA SHOWS CASES ARE CLIMBING. HEALTH SAFE IS SAFE. YOU KNOW, AND I THINK ON OUR END, WE'RE JUST SAYING, YOU KNOW, WE'RE REQUIRING VENDORS, STAFF, GUESTS TO COME IN AND SHOW PROOF, AND THAT'S REALLY ALL WE CAN DO. AND THE RESTAURANT'S LARGE NEW YEAR'S EVE BASH IS BACK IN BUSINESS THIS FRIDAY AFTER IT WAS CANCELLED IN 2020 FOR OBVIOUS REASONS. OVER 400 PEOPLE HAVE ALREADY BOOKED TICKETS FOR THIS FRIDAY'S EVENT. ASIDE FROM VACCINE PROOF, MANAGER DAVID CAMPBELL TELLS ME THE DIFFERENCE THIS YEAR. PEOPLE WON'T BE STANDING BACK TO BACK WHEN THOSE BALLOONS DROP FROM THEIR VERY TALL CEILING AT MIDNIGHT. IN DOWNTOWN RICHMOND, BEN DENNIS, 8 NEWS.